Come on. Yeah. Hey boys. Go ahead. I don't know what numbers we are. Seven and eight or something? Seven and eight, yeah. Okay. Okay. Have seven, eight. Yeah. Good morning from Yatran. Uh, we are just on our way to Dalat right now. This beautiful bus out. We actually booked one of the VIP buses. We didn't really know what to expect, and it's a perfect setup. Look, Luke even fits into the seat. He even has a little bit of wiggle room in the front. I have leg room. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm not used to that at all. <laughs> and uh, yeah, apparently you do have um, sort of a power plug in down here, and you get water and. Uh, AC and everything is really comfortable in here so we're super super happy and very stoked to be going to Dalat because tomorrow actually is gonna be my birthday so we booked a really nice hotel and uh, we're obviously going to show you all of the ins and outs of uh, where we are going to be staying in Dalat and what the journey is like and so on. So this bus here has a decent amount of space, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, around maybe 12 people can fit inside of here. And uh, yeah, last glimpses now of Nha Trang. Uh, we thoroughly enjoyed our stay here. It was fantastic actually, it was, uh, to be honest, I think it's very underrated. Uh, I never really heard much about this part of Vietnam until we came here. Uh, we literally just randomly picked it off of Google Maps and decided to come down for some good weather. And well, we would happily stay here for a month or two if we had the chance to. Um, we were very happy with the apartment that we had, very happy with how this whole area is and the weather is amazing, people are amazing and there's plenty of incredible food to be had pretty much on every street of this area so big big thumbs up for Nha Trang and now we're going to give you guys obviously first impressions of Dalat which is a pretty well-known touristy place but not for us it's brand new for us and uh, we think we have a bit of a windy journey in front of us they actually told us we need to bring nausea medication which we do not have right guys the elevation is slowly starting to increase as you might be able to see um, the streets are sort of carved in between um, the hills here in the area and uh, also the streets are slowly starting to get a little more windy which I find very very cool uh, to see and uh, yeah all of the area is starting to look a little more sort of greenish because obviously down in Yatran where we came from uh, it's a little bit more dry and uh, hot and like more of an ocean type of weather of course because that's where it is, it's in the ocean and uh, we're slowly starting to increase in elevation and things are starting to look a little bit greener which is really really cool to see and uh, my god I'm so excited I'm really looking forward to the lesson. guys so we have a little bit of a pit stop for around 10 minutes or a toilet toilet break and I don't think there's any more of a perfect setting for that break I'm just currently stretching my legs and uh, taking in this absolutely gorgeous view now I've no idea what this particular river is but it looks very very beautiful and uh, the water is actually quite low at the moment because of how dry the weather is here beautiful green rolling uh, hills over there too and this whole area seems to be uh, a restaurant of some sort so very nice but uh, we're about 90 kilometers now away from Dalat uh, we're very excited to check it out we're going to be arriving relatively early on in the day it's only a three hour drive 
between that Trang to the Lat, so we will be arriving quite early on. So we have plenty of time to explore the Lat, and then we're going to be there for three days. So yeah, new place. This is always the stuff that we enjoy the most. Oh, you guys, the views are getting vaster and vaster as we continue further up. Um, it's always so interesting because you sort of have uh, greenery on both sides of the street like this and then every now and then it sort of just breaks up and uh, you get a nice view and it's like oh my god <laughs> you don't even know that you have been so high up this entire time uh, but really cool yeah. I really enjoyed this ride even though I don't know if you can hear that the driver keeps honking at the people but the honk the horn is not like eh, it's more like a <laughs> hour drive later dropped off to our hotel which actually looks like a very nice nice hotel very excited welcome to the lat in uh, the central south central highlands of vietnam brand new place let's go and show you guys our accommodation legs are stiffer than ever yeah, yeah let's go and check it out i feel like i have no legs at all <laughs> so we're checked in being brought to our room now. Check out this fully golden uh, elevator. Very, very cool. Here's Vincent. Vincent. Oh, Vincent. Van Gogh. Yeah. Shoes on. <laughs> Come on. Right. Take the shoes off. Of course. Wow. It's very nice. Yeah, beautiful. I'm so excited, you guys. You cannot imagine. Wow, check out this beautiful bed and the back wall. I'm in complete awe here. Wow. <laughs> really nice. Thank you so much for your help. Thank you. Thank Come you. on, bye bye. Come on. I want to open this. Oh. Whee! Hello, Dalat. Welcome to Dalat. Wow, it's so cool. Beautiful balcony. What a nice place. We never really stay in places this nice, but because it's yeah. Naomi's birthday, we figured we would splash out a little bit. And it's not even really like crazy expensive. It's uh, reasonable if you think about like hotels in general. Um, I think the nightly cost for this is coming into just under like 50 euro so like 47 48 euro per night just for three nights so it's gonna be a luxury luxury three nights for the first time in a long time yeah it's so beautiful though and i'm so happy because i'm gonna hit the big three three tomorrow so by the time the video goes live i'm already 33 <laughs> and uh, that's a crazy thought to have but uh, to have a look at the bathroom Wow, <laughs> everything is so fancy schmance. I'm really scared to touch things. 
Wow, our shower. Oh, I can <laughs> I can see you. <laughs> oh, you can close though. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the the shower is golden. You have a gold shower. All of the accessories are like golden. All of the metally things. So fancy. Really cute. Wow. I love it here. Yeah. Wow. And the whole reason as well why we came to Dalat, why we decided to go to Dalat is um, because all of the produce or a lot of the produce that you find in Vietnam, so all of the milk, a lot of the coffee, cheese, uh, beef, like a lot of the produce anyway, strawberries I believe as well, are coming from Dalat. Uh, Luke is gonna put on a nice rope now and yeah, we're gonna get a nice foot rope. <laughs> we have robes and we have like a voucher for some foot massages. Yeah. It's gonna be nice. So the whole reason we came here is really to try all of the produce that Vietnam is known for and uh, I think we're gonna do that. We also are pretty hungry. We, are, we have to grab some lunch now and uh, I believe we'll do just that. Wow. Our first couple steps outside here in Dalat. We're going out to explore. Bring you guys with us obviously and share what we think so far about this place. I'll tell you what, the first thing that me and Naomi, or struck me and Naomi, is the architecture here is totally different. So the buildings, the way that this place is constructed, very, very different to everything that we've seen so far. Right now, we're kind of just wandering in the back alleys of Dalat. And the way that this is built, is basically seems to be, wow, wow, look at that, that's really cool. Uh, everywhere I look actually I want to take pictures that's another thing but the way that this is built it seems to be like a town situated in the middle of hills and mountains and you have unbelievably fresh air like I really do feel like I can take a nice big deep breath and it feels fantastic so that's something that we definitely uh, we were missing while we were in Hanoi that's for sure uh, we found it when we were in Nha Trang and now I think it's a whole different level of fresh air and the climate as well. It has gotten just slightly less hot. It is still beautiful and sunny and uh, the people here already seem to be very nice and very very uh, welcoming too. And this place has come highly highly recommended to us and that's one of the biggest reasons why we came here in the first place very interesting actually to walk around this area because Google Maps sort of just tells you to walk down this, these tiny alleyways and it's like it looks like you need to go left but you don't actually need to go left so and uh, I don't know it's a little bit confusing because um, you have like so many sort of back roads and back alleys that are connecting each other and uh, if you're a pedestrian it's obviously faster to go this way than it would be to go that way so yeah uh, that's what we did got lost immediately a lady said no no go this way <laughs> but uh, she helped us which was really helpful and uh, now we're on one of the main roads trying to find a place for food and also get a first feeling of the vibe of Dalat. Well, we made our way now into a place for some food and they have quite a expansive menu there's plenty to choose from this is the name of the place just so you guys know where it is that we are they actually have some beer on the menu they have uh, soft drinks and stuff like that too coffee tea juice all that good stuff and then they have a whole selection of different types of meats fried grilled everything salads soups um, spring rolls stuff like that and everything they literally have a seafood they also have an extensive salad menu and a whole bunch of like special dishes too so i'm gonna have to choose something give you guys uh, a taste of our lunch here as well in dalat and then go out and check out what dalat is all about too right guys the first part of our food just came out which is the spring rolls nem i believe it's called in vietnamese and uh, they look absolutely fabulous. They smell amazing as well. I'm not too sure now what they're, what they're actually filled with. Um, I just saw spring rolls and went with it. So I usually enjoy these, especially since we came to Vietnam. They, uh, nearly with every meal, I will order like a portion of these. And uh, they're kind of like my, my downfall because they're fried. So like they definitely have quite a bit of calories going on inside. I'm gonna try and get these chopsticks out. 
can't really get this one out. There you go. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> Magic chopstick. So we have red chopsticks, interesting color choice. Um, and I'm gonna give these a try here. They're probably pretty hot right now. Whoa, slippy as well. I'm gonna go straight into some of the soy sauce here and just, yeah, see what it is. See what's going on inside here. Oh. Thank you. Come Thank on. You so much. This is amazing. So it's full of, um, I think, vegetables basically. Kind of tastes like almost like a pickled vegetable. And uh, it's really delicious. Nice and crunchy texture as well here. And uh, yeah, fantastic. Very small though. It's the only thing. But I think. Portion wise, they're really good. Oh, thank you so much. And then, uh, what did we order? I don't even remember what we ordered. You ordered, I believe, beef in black pepper sauce. Beef and black pepper sauce, yeah. And I went with the pork and Chinese cabbage, so I pork. believe it's pork and probably a kind of bok choy type of a situation. Oh, no, maybe not. It does look different than the bok choy. Oh. I thought uh, because uh, the bok choy in German is called China Kohl, so it's like Chinese cabbage in German, so that's why I thought it would be bok choy. But this one looks also really nice. Let me give a try to the spring rolls. Mm. Hello, that tastes really nice. They're really good, yeah? Very good. Wow. I also felt like Luke and I, we were both kind of a little bit hungry, so. Yep. We just really need some calories. <laughs> yeah, I think these are gonna be my little addiction here for the rest of our trip in Vietnam. I keep, like I said, these are like my default setting. Mm. They're the perfect snack too. So, nice big white bowl of rice as well. Naomi's looks incredible. I'm gonna give this a quick try here as well. So I've got beef. Beautiful cuts of beef from what it looks like. Some onions. We have some nice chunky bits of pepper. And then it's coated in a black pepper sauce as well. So, here you go. Whoa, it's really hot. Mm. That's incredible. How good is that? Mm. Sauce is really nice. Yeah. Very peppery. <laughs> Very peppery, yeah. Delicious. Obviously. And I just uh, also, just by smelling it, uh, everything on top here is all um, ginger. So it actually smells very gingery, uh, spicy kind of in that way, but uh, it smells very, very nice. I'm just gonna basically take my white rice, some pork on top, mix it all. Mm. This is where all the Buddha you can really taste the ginger. Mm. Yeah. That's really good. Super nice. Mm. Pork is tender. Very tender. Not Ooh. chewy at all. Oh. Cabbage also. Perfect. So nice. Good. Washing it down here, I have a Pepsi, which is probably the coolest Pepsi can that I've ever seen in my life. Have a look at this. So this is like a Tet uh, Lunar New Year Pepsi can. I really want to keep this and like <laughs> store it somewhere. It's like really cool. I haven't seen that yet. And Naomi has the La Vie water standard. Boring. <laughs> and obviously all of the um, other stuff. We have the usual chilies and soy sauce and fish sauce. Wow, really perfect meal, guys. And um, yeah, the service here is very fast. They were very, very quick. Like we literally just ordered our food maybe two or three minutes ago and everything is here. So big, big thumbs up. And uh, I'm excited to go for a little bit of a wonder as well. But yeah, this food is incredible. Have a look at this, guys. So I made myself, uh, I guess you could call it if you were, if you want to talk um, Japanese, you can say I made a bulgogi bowl. Or is bulgogi Korean? Bulgogi is Korean. <laughs> if you want to talk <laughs> Korean, I made a beef bulgogi bowl. Also. You cannot believe, <laughs> believe that you said that. <laughs> Have a look at these. So these are usually uh, very, very red hot, but I really enjoy them very, very much. So I'm gonna add a few of these in here. 
I'm actually, I usually, well, between both of us, we usually go through pretty much all of these. Me and Naomi uh, really, really love spicy food and um, Vietnam definitely caters to that. And I love how you can customize, mix and mash everything together. And now look at this. So there's a pop of color with the chilies in there with the black pepper beef. And you also have the beautiful white rice, bell peppers and everything in there. Perfect, perfect bite right here. I'm gonna try to get some beef and some bell pepper. And of course, one of these chilies as well. Fantastic, really unbelievable. Beautifully tender beef. There's absolutely no even chew to the beef almost. The rice as well is cooked perfectly and uh, I love this. I love just being able to take bits and pieces, put it in a bowl and make your own flavor experience. This is so good. As you can see we also gave up on the chopsticks. We were so impatient we just wanted to eat really fast so we were just like let's eat with this food. But we are feeling less hangry now so we're, we're doing okay. As always we ordered just a little bit too much I don't know how we do it but we just have the talent of ordering too much we need to learn to order just like one dish and one portion of rice and I think it would be fine for the two of us and uh, the ladies were so kind as well they gave us uh, bananas for dessert <laughs> they were really smiley and really happy about it and uh, we're gonna enjoy our banana while walking towards the lake on our way up here we drove past the lake and it looked like really idyllic and cute so we're just gonna have a look around there and uh, maybe even get a nice coffee or something like this on the way I don't know I feel like we are in paradise right now in complete vacation mode which is super nice and uh, I really enjoyed a lot already wow 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 look at this this is exactly what we were sort of expecting in uh, our minds anyways when we came to the lot beautiful absolutely beautiful and we're kind of in the main i guess area over here it's kind of the main central part of the lot and then this gorgeous lake now i've no idea what the lake is actually called but it is quite literally a sprawling lake here surrounded by beautiful greenery and uh, i'm sure there's plenty of different activities that you can actually do on the lake I, there's actually some people out there on some type of um, boats pedal boats swan boats really just a gorgeous scenery to come here a lot of people are actually just sitting along the lake and enjoying their time here yeah the lake is called ho xuan ho, xuan huang. ho i mean means i think means, means lake, lake yeah. um but yeah the the paddle boat out there all of the swans and so that looks really cute i would love to do that maybe tomorrow for my birthday yeah for sure it doesn't get much better than this guys uh, really really just spotlessly uh, clean all surrounding here too and even the lake itself is beautiful and clean as well so yeah this is gorgeous down the cafe guys that's actually overlooking the lake we just came up here and uh, we think it's probably the perfect place to grab ourselves a our coffee so let's see we've got some espressos here juices chocolate mint frappuccino jesus <clears throat> some teas strawberry yogurt wow okay so very random menu i think what i'm gonna go for is espresso sua espresso with milk and i have to wait for naomi because she left me she's gone to the toilet <laughs> see what she wants thank you so much thank you Ooh. Looks very good. So, nice espresso, espresso, and then I don't know what that is. Maybe jasmine tea. Usually, it's jasmine tea in Vietnam. Yeah. You always get one sort of, other, or you always get a tea. <laughs> this one is also jasmine tea. Jasmine, very yeah. nice. I love the jasmine tea. Yeah, it's nice to, like, nearly every time we go to a cafe, you get like one of these just to accompany whatever else you're doing or whatever you're drinking. So it's always really nice. 
if you are someone that enjoys a tea, I'm typically not a tea person at all, but I enjoy a jasmine tea. I enjoy green tea as well. Oh, is it condensed milk in the espresso? Yeah. We had ordered espresso with milk and I was like, oh, where's the milk when it came out? And now I realized it's hidden, it's condensed milk on the bottom of the coffee. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> That's a first, I don't think we've tried that yet. No, not yet. Oh yeah. Good. That's nice, very strong and uh, very sweet as well. Because the condensed milk obviously is sweetened. Oh um, yeah. True. But it's nice, it's sort of like a pick me up, like you gotta get a sugar rush and a caffeine rush at the same time. <laughs> it's very good. <laughs> I'm gonna give mine a stirry stir here. You really gotta get all that condensed milk out of the floor there because it can be a little bit sticky. Let's you don't give have it a to try. be so aggressive with your stirring. Aggressive stir. Very aggressive stir. Oh my god. It's like rocket fuel. But yeah, guys. Very excited to be here in the lat so far. For me, first impressions of this place. Very, very uh, relaxed quite touristy so we are seeing quite a lot of westerners but um, it's understandable when it's such a beautiful place it does seem to be very very uh, calm in a lot of places where we are right now obviously is the main sort of around the lake area so there is quite a bit of traffic but the more that you move up into the hillside of the lot and the outskirts of the area like where we're staying where our hotel is it's beautiful quiet we're gonna sleep very, very well, I think, over the next couple nights here because we have a nice bed oh. and we have plenty of amazing days of adventure ahead of us. We also are gonna have one more video coming to you from here. Obviously, we wanna show you what there is to explore around here and not just travel here and that's it. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I really love the hotel beds. That's like the number one thing that I'm looking forward to is those beds because in a lot of Airbnbs uh, around Asia, you have these like really hard beds, which we are not used to as Westerners. So I'm like really looking forward to <laughs> enjoying the bed tonight. Down there is somebody who just waved. Oh. Really friendly. Nice looking lady. <laughs> Super friendly. She was looking at us and she's like, you have a nice view. I think she's from the UK. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah.